Hey guys, so we are going to get into do it, working on the head for the P-Pump 6.7 engine. Um, I've decided I'm gonna use a VP44 head. Um, just for simplicity's sake, this is the one with that notch cut out of it for the pump, so it'll miss it. Um, I have one of these and the, it was a cracked head that I got from a core that I bought. So the head I wouldn't use on a customer's truck uh, just because it is cracked. So, um, but I'll use it on my own because I don't think there's, it's just one of those things that cracks aren't gonna stop. So, but anyways, um, we're gonna use this as a, the, uh, the first head that goes on this engine. There will be more heads. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna put, we're gonna do a side draft setup for it later, and then we're gonna do a ported side draft setup for it again, even later. When we get to the point where we're running out of air, we're running into restriction issues. But I just wanted to try this, this will be simplicity. Um, I wanna get it together, and this head will support for the, our, my first goal, this will support that no problem. So what we need to do is we need to cut all these seats out, which are integral seats on this head. Um, we need to cut them out and we are going to install these new seats, hardened seats, and we are going to do 45 degrees intake and exhaust. So this is the cutter setup. It'll be hard, kind of hard to read, but it's an adjustable cutter setup. And I'll show you guys how to set this up for you guys who want to know. If somebody, uh, you know, has never, it, it wants to use one, never has, I will show how to do that. Um, or somebody that may be looking at buying one. And I'll probably dump this as another video as well, just how to set this up. So just so you're aware. So anyways, uh, what we're going to do here <clears throat> is this seat, which I've already measured, I know that it is uh, an inch... 375 thou. So what we need to figure out is I want seven thou crush on this. So the base on this, the when you're setting this up, your base always starts at one inch. So the one inch of your measurement doesn't matter. So that means that we have, um, let me rip this off here, get a clean sheet. So we're gonna start with, we're starting with one 375, right? So now we know that we're taking the one off, so we're dealing with one with with 75. So depending on your crush, you've gone between five and seven thou. So this head, we are know we know we're going to get it hot, so we're going to go a touch higher on our. I'm going to go seven thou. So we're going to go pull seven thou off of this number. So we're uh, 68. <laughs> now, being that this works off of radius not diameter we have to divide this by two so i could do it in my head but my not just make sure yeah 184 so 184 184 so now what we have to do is we know that this we got to check this for zero for you guys that can see here So this is our standard. This sets our at zero. So we want to make sure that we're at zero to start with. And we are really close. So now what we have to do is we know we're at one inch at zero. We need to go on this dial here. We need to go an, uh, 184 thou. So there's 150. 150 and then 175, right? 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, then 84. I always go one thou back and then come back again, just how I always do it. So now we just got to figure out which cutter we're going to use here. I think that we are gonna use this guy right here. Now all we gotta do is bring this, we gotta bring these cutters in, because they're too far out, and then we just gotta bring this to zero. So I'll just loosen these off. A little tiny bit under, that's fine by me. That just gives a little bit more crush, good on that one. Now we're just gonna make sure these are tight. Okay. 
So now we're going from here. Now we got to go over to the seat and guide machine and we need to level the head. Okay, so we are going to get this thing leveled up here. Oh, guess we need some air. thing leveled off here got this thing leveled off what I'm gonna do is I need to cut all these seats but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in a time-lapse uh, well I guess I could well, I'll put it in a time-lapse and then I'll show you guys the last one uh, just so you don't it's boring to watch you don't have to watch all of them All right guys, we're on to the last hole here. So basically just put your pilot in. I haven't put guides in this head. A few of them are a little bit loose, but it's not a huge deal for what we're doing. I actually gave it a little bit more crush. I didn't like the way that that first seat drove in. So I gave it just, I gave it one more thou. Um, so, and it, it was, well, yeah, half thou on each side and another thou. So we're between seven and a half and eight thou crush. Um, which is a little on the high side, but I just, it was a little bit soft going in. So, cutting these seats. You know, it doesn't take that long to do, um, but you're, you know, a couple minutes each. That's all she wrote. So, now we can get this thing out of the way. Pull the pilot out. Crap off the pilot. Put that in our pocket. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm just gonna quickly vacuum this off. So I'm just gonna clean these holes just a little bit, make sure that we don't have any um, of that cutting oil that I was using or lubricant that I was using on the pilot. I'm gonna make sure everything's dry. So, something to note when you're doing this is that you need to make sure that bevel that's on there, you want the bevel into the head. The reason for that is just in case it happens to pile up on you a little bit. If you grab like an edge or something, it won't get stuck. And then all we do is just put, we put a little bit of, I know lots of guys don't put anything. We always put a little bit of a sleeve retaining compound, max temp stuff. 
I don't know what temperature it's actually good to, but I've never had anything move when we put it in there. So, <clears throat> so all you do is you just uh, take your pilot, your pilot goes in there, your seat goes down there. Obviously you don't want to touch that if you can help it because you don't want the, uh, the retaining compound to get on your fingers. Now this is a driver for putting uh, um, seats in. It has a bunch of different sizes so that this seat's on there. And then this fits over top of here. Basically, it just helps you get it set up. And then, now take into consideration, they're a pretty good size hammer. I'm not a small guy. So driving on it, you know, like I'm driving on it pretty good. So just take that into consideration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing to all of these, and then I will stake them in. Um, I stake them just better safe than sorry. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of unshrouding on the valves. And I'm gonna do a little bit of bulwark on the head as well. Um, not a lot, just because I don't want to, I wanna see what kind of power we can make out of this head without doing a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, we got lots of displacement, so we'll see. Like I said, worst case scenario, um, we'll just, we will just, um, we'll take the head off, put a different head on. And it'll give me some more content later on. Um, you know, when I have the dyno and stuff. Um, you know, we have the, when we have the dyno, we'll need some content for that. And that'll be cool to get a comparison um, from different, you know, from head to head versus, I don't want to go backwards. You know, you get a good head on there, you don't want to take it off. So I don't want to, I don't want to take a head, a good head off. And there's anything wrong with this head after we, uh, we, we do all this work to it, so. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse for this part, and then the uh, I'm gonna show you some unshrouding um, if I have time tonight. All right, guys. So basically, we're cutting an unshrouding ridge on the on the valves here, just so it's easier to do right now. Nothing in the way. And basically, all it is is that we're just cutting. So if you look at if you look at whoop, if you look at this edge, you can see this edge, and then you can see this one that I've already done. And it basically just opens it up so when the valve opens, it's easier for the air to flow around the valve. Basically, all it is. So all we do is just come down. And then that's all there is to it. So it's not rocket science by any stretch of the imagination. They're all roughly the same. I got the head coming down, it's the same on every one of them. So um, I'm gonna call it quits on this one. Gonna call it quits on this one for tonight. I don't know what time it is, but it's gotta be eight o'clock by now. Um, so we're gonna leave this head for now. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I still have to um, do guides in this head. I still gotta do guides in this head and then we'll do um, I'll do a little tiny bit of bowl work. I'll time lapse that. Um, I'm literally just going to clean some stuff up. That's it. Um, and then we are going to cut the seats after we do the guides. And we'll be able to put this baby together with some valve springs and all that jazz and get this thing. Uh, I think I'm going to o ring it because I want to see if it's going to blow head gasket. So we're going to o ring it. It's, we're going to use a multi layer head gasket. I believe, I think I'm going to drill it for steam holes, but I haven't decided. And then we're going to uh, also. Uh, drill it and tap it the um, Head for the frost plugs underneath. So anyways like subscribe hit me down in the comments if you got any questions comments and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks guys